Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you the concept of nested classes in C++. Before starting, you can note my details. You can connect me by following these information. You can download my app TechMS based on programming languages. It is available on Google Play. You can search my channel by typing my name on YouTube search. My channel will be available there. You can open it. You can subscribe my channel if you want to follow my videos. Here various programming related videos and playlists are available. You can improve your programming skills by watching my videos. Now coming on to the topic. In this video, nested class concept in C++ is demonstrated. So first I have included a header file. Then std namespace is used. Then I am implementing a class. Inside class, sorry, name of class is student. And inside class, I have declared two attributes, roll number and name. Roll number is of integer type and name is of character type. Now, the concept of nested class says, if you implement a class inside another class, then that concept is known as nested class, or you can say nesting of classes. So here, student class is containing one more class that is date. Now I am implementing date class. I have declared three attributes of date class that are day, month and year, D, M, Y. Now inside its public section, I am implementing first function that is read. It will receive day, month and year from user. Then I am implementing print function. It will display day, month and year on console. And in this specified format, first day, then hyphen, then month, then hyphen, then year. These will be printed on console. Now. I am terminating this class. Before termination, I am going to create two or three objects of date class like date of birth, date of joining and date of enrollment. So these objects are of date class, but these objects are created inside student class. So now student class has five attributes. First is roll number. Second is name. Third is date of joining. Fourth is date of sorry. Third is date of birth. Fourth is date of joining and fifth is date of enrollment. So I want to read dates three times. So instead of typing DMY again and again, I have created a class and I have created uh, this date class object inside student class. This is the use of nesting of classes in C++. Now in public section of student class, I am going to implement two functions. First one is read. And second one will be print function and then I will be terminating this class. So inside read function, first I am going to receive roll number, then name of student. Then date of birth for date of birth I am calling dob dot read now you can see I, I have just called read function of date class using this dob object so this is the benefit of nesting uh, class uh, dmy is dmy variables are read here using cn inside read function so I have just called this read function instead of writing scene dmy I have called this read function. This is the benefit of nested classes in C++. Now if I want to read date of joining then simply I have to call doj dot read function and same for date of enrollment I am calling doe dot 
read. So this is complete definition of read function. It is defined inside student class and public section of student class. It is accessing roll number and name of attributes which are declared in student class and DOB, DOJ and DOE are attributes of date class. Through them, I have called read function of date class. Similar to read, I am defining print function. This function will display entered values on console. So this first statement will display roll number. Second function, sorry, second statement will display name. Then date of birth. For date of, date of birth printing, I am calling print function of date class. Then date of joining. For this, I am calling doj dot print. Again, print function of date class. Then date of enrollment. So doe dot print. This is complete definition of student class. So again, you can see. First, I have created attributes, roll number and name. Then I have implemented date class inside student class. And I have created three objects of student class, sorry, date class, DOB, DOJ and DOE. These objects are created inside student class. So in read function, roll number and name are uh, read directly, but date of birth, date of joining and date of enrollment are uh, read with the help of this read function which is defined inside date class. Similarly, print function is implemented. Now, I am implementing main function. Inside main function, I just have to create object of student class. And first I am printing a message. Enter student detail. And I am calling read function of student class. So I have called read function of student class. It will read roll number, name, date of birth, date of joining and date of enrollment. So these read functions of date class will be called automatically. So in main function, you uh, don't have to call functions of inner class. That is date class. You just have to call functions of outer class. Inner class functions will be called by the functions of outer class. So in this case, date class is inner class and student class is outer class. Now again, see out will print you have entered and then I am calling print function of student class. This is complete definition of this program. Now I am going to execute this. Sorry, I have not used semicolon here. It is printing enter student details. Then first it is asking for roll number. So I'm entering 22. Then it is asking for name. I'm entering Sanjay. Then it is asking for date of birth. So I am entering 22 as day, three as month and 1986 as year. Then it is asking for date of joining. So I, I am entering 1, 1, 2018. Then it is asking for date of enrollment. Again, I am entering 1, 1, 2018. Now you can see the result. You have entered. Roll number is 22. Name is Sanjay. Date of birth is 22, 3, 1986. Date of joining 1, 1, 2018. Date of enrollment 1 1 2018 and dates are printed in date format using hyphen in between day, month and year. So friends, I hope you have understood the use of nested classes in C++. If you uh, don't want to uh, repeat certain attributes, then you can uh, implement those attributes by uh, sorry with the help of a class and you can create that classes objects inside another class. So here this student classes 
outer class and this date class is inner class i have created object of inner class inside outer class and functions of outer class are called inside main function and functions of inner classes are linked with outer classes functions so they will be called automatically when outer classes functions will be called in main function so this way you can also implement the concept of nested classes in c++ if you want to watch more programming related videos you can search my name sanjay gupta on youtube my channel will be available there here various programming related videos are available you can watch them so that you can improve your programming skills thank you for watching this video